What is up, you guys? It is your boy Jot here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video. This time, guys, of course, we're here at Lakeland Vale by Stevie. And uh, we're, of course, on the PC. How y'all doing? Thanks for clicking on the video. Welcome to our new truck and trailer, boys and girls. New truck and trailer and trees that should have been cut down a long time ago. Anyway, how y'all doing? You guys, you know who you are that watched all the way to the end of the last video. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for that. Talking about leaves. Leaves at the end of the last video. Thanks for that, guys. All right, so our cotton. Our cotton. Look at our <laughs> line of cotton bales. Pretty awesome, not going to lie. Pretty awesome. Anyway, we are going to gobble up some of these today. And I, I don't know. I'll probably sell these right away out of the field because, you know... They'd be kind of annoying otherwise. I think I load them from the end, right? I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I haven't messed with this round bale stuff. Round bale. Oh, okay. That's one way to do it. Uh, farms in Madison County. Do you guys remember? I did cotton on there like. Oh my God. I did so much cotton on there. It was crazy how much cotton we had on that map. I had four of those harvesters running. <laughs> yeah. I used the case ones for a long time and then I switched to the. Uh, the John Deere one in the DLC after it came out. So ran a lot of cotton bales on there. Holy cow. That was crazy how much cotton we had on that map. Anyway. I don't know why they're all doing that. What if I hit them from this, this side? Are they still going to do that? Hmm. Interesting. We'll find out, right? No. Okay. Must be something with them facing north. I don't know. Where do I even sell cotton at? I don't even know. Um, Cotton. Highest price. Sure, why not? I don't even know where anything's at. Oh, okay. Well, right, we've already been there with cotton. Duh. Never mind. Anyway, I do like this trailer because it holds four bales. The bales are half the size of the, of the square bale. So you're hauling the same amount of material, but it's more to like back up to and handle and all that. So really the square baler is where it's at. Are actually that modded thing <laughs> that harvest it like loose and you can haul it that way. That's really where it's at. I'm just saying. But anyway, let's get this cotton sold. And um I actually don't know how many how many bales are left if we should haul more now or, or maybe just wait. I'm not sure. I don't think there was four more. There might have been though. We'll we'll go back and find out and uh Yeah, we got other stuff to get running as well today. I would like to get a corn harvesting here in six. And I guess I need to work on 18 and 17. I, eight, eight, 18 is going to require a different harvester. So there is that. I'm probably going to go ahead and use the modded harvester just um, to make my life easier. Not going to lie. Instead of using the in-game harvester because it's like way slower and smaller and stuff. So I'll probably just use the modded one just to make life easy. Just saying. Some of you guys may like that. You may not. I don't know. But that's what we're going to do, guys. All right. Unload. Unload the cotton. Let's go. I'm ready. You know? I'm ready. So, yesterday for me, Wednesday for you guys, two days ago, whatever, um, working at the farm. I got a lot done on the snowman project. I was very happy with my progression. I welded on probably right around or a few more than a hundred washers. Uh, onto, onto the overall project. Um, one snowman is almost ready for, I guess actually he is ready for assembly to like assemble the, you know, the top, middle, the bottom and put a hat on it. We do have to build arms still. I think I'm going to wait put the hat on until we do arms at least i might do the top middle bottom weld those together and then uh make the arms hopefully we get the arms made this weekend and then like maybe next wednesday we can start firing up on the uh on the second one because we got to do it all twice you know so gotta gotta work on that plus at the farm this past weekend i was finally able to film with my drone the, which actually that reminds me hang on i gotta do something right now otherwise i'm gonna forget i have my sd card for my drone in my 
SD card reader here attached to my computer right in front of me. And I guarantee that I'm going to forget the thing. Okay. Guarantee I'm going to forget to put it back in the drone for tomorrow. Um, so I just put it on top of my phone. My phone is charging. Maybe that's not good for the SD card. I don't know, but it's, it's sitting right on top of my phone right now. So it's like, I can't forget to put it back in there. Otherwise I'm going to forget. And then I'll try to like film and it's going to be like, no SD card. You noob. I'll be like, Oh goodness. I do have extras in there though. So I keep extra ones in my, uh, in my case that I towed around with me. So anyway, so we are not going to haul these three bales. We'll wait till there's a fourth one. And probably if there will be one more, I guess. I guess one more. I don't know. At least one more, right? But anyway, yeah, I digress. So I finally got... <laughs> I love the way they jump. I finally got my farmers, as I call them. I'm not going to name them, but my farmers. I finally got them in the field with their two John Deere combines running 35-foot uh, uh, draper heads. One of the combines is an S780. The other one is an S680. The S680 is new to them this year. I'm not sure like how many hours are on it or how new it is actually, but I know that it's new to them, which is very exciting. They went back to two combines years and years and years and years ago. I'm talking a long time ago. They ran two combines, even on corn, they ran two. They ran two six row heads years and years and years and years ago, a million years ago, they ran that. And with the advent of a bigger combine, they went away from that. And now they're back to two combines, at least for wheat and probably, or at least for beans and probably wheat as well. Um, so there's that. All right, we're gonna try this again with the combine like I did on 19. We're gonna try that again here on 10, or sorry, on six, my bad. See how it works. But yeah, they're back to two combines, at least for beans and wheat probably. Uh, I don't believe they've purchased a second corn head. And the big reason for that would be just you can't haul it away fast enough. You know, some of their fields are 10, 10 plus miles away from their farm. And they only really have two truck drivers. They have, I guess they do have three trucks they could haul with. But they only have two truck drivers. And they could hire somebody, but they're probably not going to. Family operation here. And... Uh, yeah, so it would, it would, on corn, it would just be, like, too much hauling, you know? The trucks can barely keep up anyway on corn, so... Plus, it's not like where they're unloading, they have a pit. You know, they haul it back and dump it into an auger. So, of course, that's slower than just letting it rip it right into a pit, you know? So, but yeah, they uh, probably use two combines for beans and wheat, and it's, it's awesome. It's, it was really cool to see them out in the same field working, and... Yeah, so there's going to be a separate video made of that. Uh, Carson is actually going to be doing the editing on that. I've already sent him footage. I'm hoping to get more tomorrow, which will be today for you guys. If they're out, they may be done. I don't know. They have late beans to get to. But I just don't think the late beans are going to be ready yet. Because they're... Uh, well, they got, they got frosted. And now they're actually going to get frosted again. But there, there's still some green stems and a lot of leaves down in there. So I don't think those are going to be ready. But if they are, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film them some more. And try to get some more cool shots and stuff. So Carson's going to be editing that video on Sunday. So maybe like Tuesday it'll come out or something. I don't know. I don't want to commit to anything. But he said he was going to work on it Sunday. Uh, but, you know, if something comes up, then obviously the video will come out when it comes out kind of thing, you know. I'm just very excited that I was able to get footage of them out there just absolutely pitter pattering two 35 foot draper heads. It was it was magical. It's probably some of my favorite drone footage that I've ever actually filmed. Like it's it's really really cool. The only thing that's going to make it better is if they're in the field right in front of the farm because that's the ground grandpa used to own. That was grandpa's farmland. So that's the only thing that could make it better to me is to actually see them in grandpa's land so yeah all right truck set up uh tell them to go from there i know you're blocked right now but i'm gonna move the wagon don't you worry 
There we go. Hit all the wrong buttons, guys. All the wrong buttons. Someone's probably getting kind of full over there, isn't he? Yeah, and then he's 48%. Might be able to make one round around the field. Which is fine. Alright, we'll start a course here. We will put our pipe out. If it ever would go out all the way. Come on. Come, come. Drive over. Put our pause point. Drive away. Back to the field and have him sit right here. And he is going to go after the John Deere infield six. That's where you're going, bud. Better patter get to her. Um, what else do we have to get to? Oh, I want to get to field 18, but first I think we need to get 17 rocking with the tribine. With the tribine, we'll get this rocking real fast. This will not take long at all with the tribine, of course. And uh, let's, yep, do the same harvesting kind of trick thing. We'll go ahead and get that fired up. I think it's really neat, so I, I kind of like it, not going to lie. And uh, go to your first waypoint. You're going to lag the game getting there, but that's okay. He's figuring out a path, like how to get there right now. Where is his marker? It's right there, so. He'll figure it out eventually, or I can just stop him and uh, fire it up myself and just drive it there and be done, you know? Sometimes in life, it's just easier to do this, you know? Just like, oh, hey, look. There you go, bud. Go to your first point. Hey, look, you're there. Good job, bud. All right. That's an auger wagon. I don't think I'm going to use an auger wagon. Does that cool them and hold that stuff? I don't know. I don't think I want to do that, though. Um, Kuluman does hold sugar beets and everything, but the problem is it's on the wrong side and it's a whole thing. So I think what we're going to do instead, um, come into the shop here. We're going to go ahead and go with this thing. I know it's kind of GD, whatever, but I think we're going to go with it anyway, just cause, uh, just cause why not, you know, and I don't need to buy it, but I'm going to, and we are harvesting sugar beet sugar beet sugar beet which is wait i get this wrong that's beet root that's not the same thing right we're harvesting yeah sugar beet little symbol okay i got that wrong last time i bought it if you guys remember when i actually bought this uh for the map that time it's all good it happens right it happens Cause it's counting it as like beet beets, but it's really it's sugar beets, but it is what it is. And I'm on the wrong side of the head to hook up to it. All right. That's cool. That's pretty neat or something. Goodness me. Watch this snap. This is my approach angle. If I can get it to trigger here. Got it. All right, there we go. Now we can take flight with our with our harvester. Let's pitter patter and we'll be down there in no time because this thing absolutely flies. I'm just saying. Absolutely flies. This thing's kind of crazy, not going to lie. It really is. But yeah. So probably like I did last video, probably like I'm, I'm doing every video, basically where I, you know, I kind of like do my thing and then I'm going to like, you know, finish it up after, after uh, recording for you guys, basically. I think that's working, right? Let me know what you guys are thinking, but yeah, now the poplars, I may not do that way. You guys, I might make you suffer through probably a high speed on poplar harvest, honestly. I think that's what we'll set up to do. They're not ready yet. They need, uh, they need fast time. So yeah, we'll get there eventually though. Right. All right. I'm going to hold the head. Of course, we're going to set up course play. Cause why wouldn't we? And we're going to try that other method with course play as well on, on this harvester as well. Just because we can, you know, just because we can. All right, we're on. Oh, we do need to limit our speed down. 
we're gonna go ahead and limit it down quite a bit actually high six is where our where we're going it might go to 13 i think we can change it in here if we wanted to maybe not 14 14 14 is not a number so i don't know i don't know 11 that works right 11 works respectable number i'm good with that okay so now we need some kind of tip for that um i think i'm gonna run this tractor the fence the fence shall work the fence shall work so we'll get the old fence fired up here guys and we'll just run this as a tipper right off of it you know just saying and run it as a tipper and run right to the to the you know storage and uh we'll be good to go right we will be good to go we'll drop the sides down that might help too i don't know if it will it probably won't but yeah probably will not all right and actually want that one turned on go record that's a really bad start point let's start that over again let's start that over again it works best if you drive at least that second marker uh in a nice straight line but obviously more than that's even better so really doesn't matter after the second one though let's be real i'm just saying so, if you guys are watching this Friday, don't forget about the stream tonight. Twitch.tv slash poopaplow. Links in the description below. As always, there's always a link there to my Twitch. And the second YouTube and all that good stuff. So, if you guys are interested, make sure you're hitting up the links down below. I would appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. Make sure you guys are hitting it up. We're streaming Lone Oak on Friday. No stream Saturday, but Lone Oak Friday, and then I'll be back Monday. I don't know what we'll play yet. Either Farm Sim or Snow Runner. Probably Farm Sim. Been really just. I mean, this shouldn't be a shock, but I've really been having been having a lot of fun with Farm Sim lately. Between this map and Lone Oak, and even before that, when we were playing uh, that little bit until somebody on the on the server side uh, hit a wrong button. Uh, we were playing, uh, what's it called? Sandy Bay. Somebody hit the wrong button on the server side is what happened there, by the way. It, it very well could have been me. Uh, I, I gave the password to a couple of the other guys to kind of help with them some things at times, you know? And, uh, I, I don't know who hit it, but it's all good either way. It's, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. All right, not sure what's going on here, but we'll go ahead and help this situation out. We will help. What we'll do is we'll just pull up here a little bit. He will not come to me unless I'm on course play. Now that this combines on course play, he'll pull up just fine and get it emptied out, right? Uh, except for his speed is kind of slow. Up with that. On, bud got to turn that cruise control off all the way always forget to do that you know because like i might have run it manually for a little bit gotta turn the cruise up all the way okay how is our cotton coming along last pass how convenient and it looks like he did leave us one bale he's got another bale and he's got a partial inside so i guess we get the partial right i'm not sure how that works but yeah that's good. Cotton. We can check that off the list, right? All right. So we do have our grass field as well. Uh, it's, of course, ready. The poplars are nowhere near. The sugar canes are nowhere near. But everything else is ready to rock. Uh, where did I plant potatoes? Planted two fields of potatoes down here. 13, 14. And they're ready to go. Okay. We'll use that harvester. We'll probably drive that one manually because, yeah. Like two little tiny fields that'll take like three seconds, you know. I'm just saying. All right. 
Oh, he was just hired. That's right. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Okay. I hired him because uh, I had stopped course play last night. Okay, so I guess I don't get that. I don't get that uh, that partial in there. That's fine. It is what it is. I was hoping to get it, but if I don't, I don't. That's just all there is to it, I guess, right? Not a big deal. Okay, so we'll grab the cotton. We got room for one more bale, which sucks because there's, you know, another bale over there. So we'll have to come back for that. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Then we need to make sure the sugar beet uh, harvest is actually working correctly over there. And then uh, probably going to call it a video, guys. Uh, to be completely honest, it's it's 12.17 right now, which is not late for me. You guys know that, but I did mention no stream Saturday. Because we're having kind of pumpkin day weekend this weekend. It's nothing too extravagant or anything like that. We're, we're really scaling it back. I know I've talked about it before, but like really scaling it back. Everybody's going to have to wear a mask. Uh, lots of hand sanitizer will be flowing. We're not doing food. We're going to have like some little snacks and like water and that's it. We're not going through all the trouble of getting all the food that we'd normally take and crock pots and all that. We're not doing that. My, my sister is nice enough. She's bringing us like a sandwich tray Saturday. Is that Saturday's the bulk of when people are coming. Which is weird because we always held pumpkin day on Sunday. But everybody, like, we put the option out like, hey, do you guys want to come Saturday or Sunday? And a lot of people pick Saturday. So there are some coming Sunday. But to be completely honest, Sunday's going to look kind of like a normal farm day for me. I'm going to be in the shed working on... Um, the snowman project probably saturday too a little bit here and there uh there's there's some people come saturday i wouldn't mind you know chit chatting with catching up with but for the most part it's uh not people that i'm like friends with i mean friends of the family and stuff but not people that i'm like close to or anything oh, i hit that button way too early i hit that button way too early hurry up get there get there <laughs> we got it has to go all the way yeah, I mean, there's some people coming, like I said, Saturday that I'll I'll definitely, you know, talk to from a distance. That's that's the whole thing. Talking to them from a distance is, is going to be a thing. We must have an auger wagon mover right now. Our frames are tanking. Frames are tanking. And they're back. At least a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Now we're back to 60. We were at 24. Yeah. You know, and I watched some videos and somebody was in the video was saying like it uses a lot of CPU when it's doing that. It's not. It's just literally the game can't handle life. There's no way it's hitting my CPU that hard. We got a beast and there's no way it's doing that. You know, we talked about how this game runs in the last video. I think it was. I, I didn't mean to like flex there. I hope nobody took it that way. But like I got a beast, you know. I got a monster under the hood, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, <laughs> it runs quite well. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's going to be me. I'm going to kind of be a hermit a little bit Saturday and Sunday and try to stay in the shed as much as possible and, and just get work done. Cause I, got, I got a lot of stuff I need to do still with the Snowman Project and... Uh, yeah, I don't know how much welding I'll be able to do, but I can start working on wiring if I wanted to. And, uh, well, it's like technically I can wire things up and then just like take all the bulbs back out, like plug it all in, make sure it looks good. And then kind of go from there, I guess, you know, there's definitely stuff I can do is what I'm trying to get at. So some of that I'll have to have to do. So. But I will be social at least a little bit, you know? <laughs> just, I don't know how much. <laughs> That's all. I just don't know how much, you know? Definitely a little bit. So, yeah. All right, let's get this uh, last cotton bale sold. And then check on the sugar beet guy, which everything looks fine over there so far. Uh, I mean, he's only 50% right now, so... Probably should change that so he like goes and tries to empty them like constantly, because that uh, that trailer's tiny and that harvester's modded very heavily. 
and it holds a lot, so probably need to do that. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oop, there goes the leg again. 24 to 64 frames, just like that. Just boom. 60 frames, 24 frames, back to 60. I love it. Love this game. Vroom, 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 vroom. I love NASCAR. You know, for years, I thought that I love NASCAR was actually the way that song was. It's, I love this bar. Is how it actually, like, that song actually is. I always thought it was the I love NASCAR one. It's like a parody or whatever, but I always thought that was real. It came up on my Spadoofadoo playlist, the, uh, I love this bar. Like, the real song. <laughs> for years, I thought it was I love NASCAR. That is a, a spoof, a parody of it, though, but... I always thought that was a real one. I don't know why. Either way, a good song. Good song either way, guys. Good song. All right, just to uh, help myself out and, and not have equipment everywhere. By the way, loving the way this truck handles. I'd never really, like, get this truck. It's it's great. It turns real good. Like, it uh, doesn't want a jackknife constantly, you know? Like the man truck. <laughs> That man truck is such a piece of garbage. We just all like agree to that. In game man truck, garbage. Garbage. <laughs> this might be the new truck, boys. This might be the new strap. Never know. It's got more weight to it, you know? More weight, more power, all that good stuff. All right, just, just to keep like my map somewhat cleaned up. What? How is that? It's not in the thing, is it? Okay. Cool. We'll just sell it this way, Brohim. Just saying. All right. Goodbye. What did I just do? Wait, no. I hit the wrong button. I didn't hit sell. There we go. Sell. Goodbye. I went to my least items. Whoops. All right. You're looking pretty good here, buddy. Is it possible to get you an auger wagon though? Or a tipper guy out here? I'm curious how you're gonna empty. You know? For some reason he's not coming. Hello? Mr. 1050. You're set to the right thing. You're set to the right thing here. Why aren't you going? Go. 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 Who's next? <laughs> Come on. It should totally like. Come on. Pitter to patter. I wonder if it needs to be like in the field. It shouldn't be. It should not need to be. He's set to go. We'll say 40%. No, it keeps flashing up that nothing's ready for it. But it totally is, Brohim. All right, here's what we're going to do. He doesn't want to run. So we'll go run for him. <laughs> Let's go get some sugar beets. 70% uh, of that... Uh, that's a pretty healthy amount, you know? I'm just saying. Pretty healthy. He may not like that harvester. I don't know. Might be what it is. Not too sure, to be honest. All right. Come on, bussy. Oh, you're doing a weird path. Oh, you're trying to go get lined up now. He's going to cut, like, right through the field like this. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Goodness. 71%? Yeah, that's gonna be a healthy amount. Right? Gonna fill me up. And then some. He's still at 56%, so. Nice enough to stop though for me. Pretty kind of ya, good sir. <laughs> Pretty kind of ya. Oh, goodness. 
Well, I guess I know what I'm going to do for the next little bit. I'm going to run uh, auger wagon on sugar beets, apparently. Which I know is not correct to run an auger wagon for sugar beets. I'm well aware. You would use like a hopper thing. I haven't really seen any good like mods of those. We had one way back in the day that would uh, absolutely wipe your entire game. That was fun. We'll just change you to drive. Instead of trying to find the combine every time. And then I'm probably going to throw the truck on this course as well. Just because. Why not? Uh, we need the fence. Tell the truck to go as well because yeah we're 68 percent you know <laughs> gonna have to play a little catch up here guys but that's okay uh so next video guys we'll be back we'll be harvesting some more and then our, you know what i might you know what that's what we're gonna say guys next video is gonna be the poplars i'm going to get the fields done that we're doing currently and then I will like fast time a whole bunch and get the poplars done because I'm not streaming Saturday at all. And I actually was, am going to have some free time Saturday night to work on this. So that's what I will do. I will work on this Saturday night when, uh, yeah, like recording this part, the voiceover is still going to be recorded Sunday night, like normal so that, uh, we're still on the same kind of stuff. So next video guys, I will let you know what's up with pumpkin day, how everything went and uh, all that good stuff or the the stripped down lame version of pumpkin day that we're doing this year i will let you guys know how all that went and uh, yeah have a good weekend guys i'll catch you uh i'll catch you on monday until then thank you all so much for watching have a good weekend like i said and as always the toodles